So I'm just going to review how we're experimenting with using a badging system, a badging infrastructure as a learning management system to think about assessing proficiencies in a different way. So here I am at um, a badgestack.com course that I'm coordinating with a, a teacher in an eighth grade math classroom. And we're looking at the series of badges that she's created for her students. I'm going to go ahead and click on the, one of the projects that she's created. So the Enduring Understanding is the badge itself, and then each one of the badges gets connected with a, an associated quest, an activity, if you will, that the students do. And they can differentiate through. Sometimes the teacher can say they have to learn, earn all five, or they might just want to self-select with two or three. What badge tech and other related systems do is it tries to make clear from the start what the expectations are by backwards designing badges, expectations for badges, along with those activities. And then it gamifies it a little bit, so you'll see that we could play around with levels, and kids might have to earn some badges in order to move from one level to another. But also, you'll see over here that there's a series of um, points that can be earned by the students and with leaderboards. So I'm just going to show you those types of badges as well, and then move on. So you saw the Enduring Understanding Backwards Design badges earlier, but then there's a series of these reward badges that you can start a healthy competition with students, because m many of the ways these badges are earned and those points on those leaderboards are earned is through um, collaboration. So students have to start a friendship or they might participate in a forum or start um, you know, involving kids in finding math together everywhere in their, their own lives. So just a very quick way to show you how badges can work within a badging system like Badge Stack. And I'm just doing a little drop down here so that kids have a concrete way to see that they've uh, are moving forward in terms of their proficiencies. Uh, the Terran Institute for Innovative Education ended up partnering with Learning Times and paying for the learning management system connection like that, which is great. But the other reason we were excited about that is because Learning Times um, has now launched Badge OS. So what Badge OS does is very much similar to that whole infrastructure where I have a series of badges and reward badges and ways to think about gamifying proficiency learning. But now what they can do is because Badge OS is a WordPress plugin, I'm going to show you what it can look like when we're working with another school. This is Winooski um, Middle School High School, which is up in Vermont, and they're using in their iLab a series of medals, ribbons, forums. Um, this is what Badge Tech ends up looking like in a WordPress plugin. Okay. Students here come on in and they um, have their own personal learning plans. Um, they create their own projects and build backwards in terms of a contract about how they're going to connect with their community and learn around something that's personally engaging to them. I'll show you another quick example of how, because this is WordPress, the WordPress plugin, the WordPress plugins mean that we can take a regular WordPress site and then we can have quests and reward badges and forums and those get built in. So this is a, an example of a reading club for a library at, in Cabot, Vermont. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead behind the scenes here so you can see in the dashboard um, you'll see that it looks like, if you're familiar with WordPress, like a WordPress blog, but what happens is you download the Badge OS plugins, and then you're given that opportunity to be able to have levels, quests, um, and leaderboards were just launched recently. So the big picture idea is that we are thinking about badges in a learning management system for backwards designing proficiencies. Kids can come at this in a way that it's different from a teacher-directed assignment that has a date, due date and everyone sort of lockstep goes. Kids can come on in here and they can um, uh, come at their own pace, their own time, um, which is wonderful. And we're excited about Badge OS as a um, possibility for having schools host their own WordPress installation. So I'll make sure you see Badge OS there as well.